be ready in the end times. And we're still in the zone. I, I see people get a bit complacent. They say, gee, you know, tetrad, blood moons, solar eclipse, revelation 12 sign, come and gone, ha ha, nothing happened. A lot of things have happened. You who are in this church, you know, right? The worst hurricane in U.S. history. The worst hurricane in uh, Puerto Rico history. My goodness, devastate a whole country. Never seen that before. As long as you've lived, if you live to 80, 90, I don't think you've seen anything like that before. A whole country. And again, they, people then say, Puerto Rico is not a country. Well, you know what I mean. It's not quite a country, but it's not quite America either. On Facebook, I said this this week. 70 years since the rebirth of Israel expires the 29th of November. You know that 70 is very important in the Bible. 70 years of captivity in Babylon, 70 years to the destruction of Jerusalem in the first century. So 70 means something to God. And the first anniversary of 70 years of Israel is this month. Is this month, month 11. You know, uh, I teach about the numbers in the Bible, in history have meaning. 11 means disorder. 12 is order, take away 12, take one, uh, away from 12, you got disorder, chaos, September 11. You have an emergency, you call 9-11, right? Tohoku earthquake in Japan, I think that was March 11. Arab Spring, December 11, okay? Today, Trump's Twitter account taken down by a rogue Twitter employee. Did you know that? These guys are so wicked. Imagine doing that. Imagine if they did that to Barack Obama. Let's say, oh, racist or some other name calling. Some rogue employee was on his last day of work and just took down the president's account. You know how long it was off, offline? 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Trump is going on a diplomatic uh, trip to Asia. How many days? 11 days. Strange, huh? You can't make this kind of stuff up. So we're in month 11. The first possible anniversary of Israel. First possible 70th year anniversary is this month, end of this month. So we see what happens, okay? But it, it could extend all the way to May, if you wish, May of next year, because that's when they, they had their war. 70 years since the rebirth of Israel, uh, counting from the UN resolution on the 29th of November, 1947, expires on the 29th of November, 2017. Please don't be lukewarm. Just because the worst shooting in U.S. history that's in Las Vegas, the worst hurricane in U.S. history that's in um, Houston, the worst hurricane in Puerto Rico's history, and the worst fires in Californian history have passed. Who knows what's next? You could have a market crash, an EMP detonate. You could have war breaking out in the Middle East sooner than you expect. And the Bible predicted in the end times blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. That vapor of smoke could be you know, volcanic eruptions, right? So we've got a lot of seismic activity happening in the past few days. I'd encourage you to repent of hidden sins, accept Jesus as your Savior, do not oppress others, stand up for Jesus in your actions toward the weak, love your enemies and forgive them sincerely. Watch and pray with the Holy Spirit for what more may come before Christmas. 1947 to 192017 not going away. This is still a very important period that we're in. November to November. We're in it right now. So please share uh, what the Holy Spirit reveals to you. I said on Facebook, your servant and his forever. All right, so um, yeah, if you don't know that I'm on Facebook, you're welcome to come there, but eventually we're going to migrate over to clean social media. All right, and we're asking for people to pray for that, support that, lend your skills if you're good at uh, database, software development, any of this stuff, okay? So uh, this is one way we're going to be communicating all throughout the millennium. Even after Jesus comes back, we're going to have social media, right? Jesus made humans social beings. We are human beings, social beings, speaking beings. It's not going to change. It's going to be augmented. It's going to be better in the millennium.